It's been raining and pouring all day, non-stop. Health food store and see what was going on over there. Talk to them about macrobiotic, organic. But uh, like I said, I'm going to do an interview on the phone with someone who's an expert on health food and food. And then um, I'll do a little bit of documentation of my ideas. And then I'll show you the, uh, the way I think I solved it. See what the street looks like. It's nasty today. Not even worth going out. Uh, my buddy called. He wants to get a video camera, something cheap, a point and shoot. And he went on Amazon. He went online. He found like a SX Ice, uh, SX SX 160 IS Canon, nice camera, a 760p HD, but not bad. And uh, it's like 199. I saw a couple for 249. So I told him, wait. I uh, went through Craigslist, and I'll show you. I found one in perfect condition for 60 dollars. The guy bought it brand new. His wife had the same one and lost it. So he bought her a new one, and then she found it in the closet. True story. So um, I can get it for like 60 bucks. I told him, spend 60, see if you use it. And then if you use it and you find you're really getting into it, you can upgrade, and uh, I'll buy it for you. This is a vlog or whatever, but the next video will be me going down there and meeting the guy and uh, picking up this camera for my buddy. That's the way to buy stuff, you know? Like even that Hero, I, uh, GoPro Hero I bought recently. Forty dollars, you know. Come on, you know. At that price, you, it was perfect condition. I just had to clean it a little bit with some rubbing alcohol, uh, isopropyl. Use ninety percent, and uh, it's really decent. So anyway, it's Thursday, raining, nasty. I don't think I'm going to bother putting anything up today, but I like the idea of putting something up every day because it leaves a legacy behind too. You know, in the old days, you write a book, and you're remembered. Somebody reads a book a hundred years later. So I figure someday, you know. 25 years from now, someone sees these videos and goes, that's a weird old guy, but he had some good ideas, you know? You know, there's no reason to buy brand new, especially something that's experimental. I mean, like this car, this car is $126,000 new. It's an 04. This one's mine, the other one is my buddy's. This one's a, is an AMG. It's like 134000 with a tax and options, not tax, but options and all the stuff. And uh, it's an 04. I bought it like a year and a half ago for like six grand. I talked to a dealer. I talked him down to six grand. And it's perfect. It's been a great car. And I'll sell it and make a little profit instead of taking a loss. But you figure the guy who bought it new lost, probably traded in after two or three years, probably lost 50 grand on the car. And the second guy probably lost 20 grand. I'm going to make money on it. That's the way to do it. How to make money and have fun all at once. All right, guys. It's been fun rambling. You know? Uh, yeah, so I was saying, you go to Craigslist, go to your local one ad press if you need something. My buddy owns an apartment building, his furnace went out. They wanted four grand for a furnace. He went on Craigslist and found a brand new one a guy had he wasn't using. He got it for 1300 bucks, delivered. Brand new, perfect, no scams. You just got to be smart. You talk to people, don't just email. Make sure you get them on the phone. And you can tell when you talk to people if they're legit or not. You got to use your decision-making abilities. All right, guys. I'll be limping at you again next week or tomorrow.